Hey there! Today we're gonna customize some Vans classic white slip-ons doing a Pokemon Fisherman illustration. This is the right shoe. The left shoe will have a similar design with different Pokemon on it. Hopefully it will make one big picture. These shoes will be for sale. They are men's 9.5 or 27 and a half centimeters. These are gonna be for sale on my Instagram and Etsy. Oh, like and subscribe. Okay, we're gonna start with the sketch using watercolor pencils before we go in with ink. Once I'm roughly happy with the sketch, we'll go in with some ink, starting with the standout parts like the Vaporeon on the bottom and the bridge across the middle. Starting with the Ohu alcohol markers and going in with some acrylic paint afterwards. The alcohol markers have a deeper color range and it gives the image more depth, so you can kind of see it in the water. The acrylic paint is brighter and pops a lot more, so you want to kind of be using both to give the picture more pop. These acrylic paint pens are also from Ohu and work great for canvas shoes. Giving everything a nice black outline also gives sharper and better edges. The acrylic paint allows me to fix any mistakes I make with the alcohol ink. It can be pretty difficult to stop the alcohol ink from bleeding into other places. So using the acrylic paint is a good way to fix or cover any mistakes. Going into the fisherman, the details on the fisherman doesn't need to be too detailed because he's not the focus of the illustration. He is there to sell the scene. After the fisherman, we move on to the magic card. Once the main parts are finished, we need to do the background. There are a few mistakes with the bridge that we need to fix here. Basically, there's some bleeding that will be a bit hard to fix. And because of that, I have to go a little bit too dark with the airbrush. However, I went out and picked up some Angelus paints, meant for shoe customization. Using the Angelus paint, it's pretty easy to fix the mistakes. Using too soft to make the paint flexible and easy to apply. Next, we need to fix the water under the bridge. I want to add waves and choppy water, as well as a few extra Pokemon. The last part for the front is to add splashes to the Magikarp and then some touch-ups. Next part is the sides of the shoe. So this side is going to be Mantine from the second generation and then the other side is going to be Octillery, also from the second generation. The process is basically the same, starting with the sketch, then an outline, aqua ink, and finally some paint.
Once we're done with the main Pokemon, we'll add some greens and blues for the water. We're going to populate the water with some floating Pokemon, kind of like silhouettes off in the distance. And we're pretty much finished. Like and subscribe to see the next show.